Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make um, add bubbles to a painting to make it look realistic. So I have here a painting I've made of one of my models in a bathtub, and I'm going to be adding bubbles around her like like in a bath. So it's quite simple. What I'm going to be using, I have about a tablespoon of water in here. I'm going to add some dish soap. about the same amount of dish soap as I have of water. Mix that together. And then I'm going to add white paint. So I'm adding a little bit of white paint to it. So I guess it depends on which kind of paint you're using, if you need more or less. Um, I have some pretty, that golden acrylics are pretty thick paint, so I should have enough. I'm gonna add, maybe I'll add a little bit more. Mix that in. Make sure it's pretty well diluted. mixed it well, you can get some kind of white foam like this. So if I was to deposit this and let it fill up on my painting, it won't, it won't make nice big bubbles. But if I take a straw, little bigger bubbles. You get some nice white circles. So you want to be layering smaller and larger bubbles on some areas so that you can that it looks real and they're not all white or all just big bubbles. Sometimes they pop before you get to layer them on. But that's part of art, right? You gotta let go and go with the flow. So you keep layering some smaller bubbles, bigger bubbles, medium-sized bubbles all around for it to look kind of natural and um, so that it doesn't look equal everywhere and fake. And you should get some nice result. This technique can also be used if you want to make some creative abstract paintings or backgrounds. You can add colored paint, different colored paints and different mixed with different soap and water bowls and put make colorful bubbles in your background um, for an abstract painting or even a, a kept classroom project with your students. It's a really fun activity. You might want to have not bowls that aren't this deep and longer straws if you're doing this with kids, if you don't want them eating so. Okay, now I've layered all types and sizes of bubbles all over my painting. Let's let it dry and see what happens.